Hello my friends and welcome back to Grim Reactions. I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 12 of season 2 of Supernatural. And again, I mean I'm always excited to get to watch Supernatural. I think it's a great show and it's great fun. And the story seems to be shifting into a slightly higher gear, shall we say. Um, with more references to Sam's destiny, I guess, and that he's supposed to I don't know. Do whatever great thing that yellow-eyed demon has planned for him, whatever that is. Like we heard that from the guy who was talking to the shrink in the beginning of episode 10, that he's supposed to be a soldier in some upcoming war. I don't know. I'm sure that we will get more details as we progress. Yeah, it seems like the seasonal storyline is taking more of a center stage. While still, of course, the show is still being episodic and having like a new case every episode or so. But I don't know, I find it interesting. Uh, I want to know more about what's going on. I want to know more about everything, to be honest. They're doing, I think they're doing a really good job of uh, creating, creating mystery and creating interest in the mystery they're creating. They're drip feeding us small bits and pieces and it, it's working. It's working really well. I really want to know what's going on. So last time around, we visited a hotel in the northeastern United States, I think, where it was an old hotel, like an old hotel slated for demolition, apparently. And there was a ghost that was messing with people. And I really enjoyed that episode. It was really good. Like, uh, it felt very much Stephen King's The Shining. And I'm sure it was intentional. And uh, I don't know. I just, I love that setting. Just like geographically. And also, I I like the, the mood of the episode. Like an old hotel. Or like, like asylum. An old asylum. With a lot of history. A lot of stuff has happened. And things happen because of its history. So I liked that episode. It was good. And I can't wait to see what happens in this one. So let's get to it, shall we? As always, full episode reactions available on Patreon. Link down below. Check it out if you want to. And uh, like and subscribe uh, if you're new here. Or if you're not new here and you're not subscribed yet. Do, 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 do that. Because I'm trying to grow the channel. And uh, likes really helps. And subscribes really, really helps. Drop your comments down below as well, though, because I really love reading them and I love uh, responding to them. So, let's go! Just minutes ago, police and SWAT teams maintain position as we enter the third yes. hour of this intense standoff. Are we in trouble with the law again? Something's happening. I think they're opening a door. Roger, are you getting this? Is it gonna be Dean? Come on. It's gonna be Dean, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Dean. You're in trouble, my friend. This is really exciting. I've been itching for more of this, of them getting in trouble with the Lao. So and it's like mm. being an FBI guy. Well, it's dangerous. Oh, Dean, sell it more, why don't you, to the pretty girl? God, the secrets. Yeah. Honestly, it's it's lonely. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. Spread it on thicker, why don't you? Every year at the Christmas party, she said we were the only family she had. So there were never any signs that she'd do something like that. I like your hair like that, Sam. Helena came back to the store after closing, cleaned out all the display cases and the safe. He caught her in the act. He didn't know what to do. He'd known her for years. Yeah, that's got to be awkward. And that's when she took his gun. She shot him in the face. That's rude. I heard him die. Hmm. Any idea what her motive could have been? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. It makes makes very little sense. So you never saw the security camera footage yourself then? The police, they took like if she was being percent. blackmailed into doing it, then I don't think she would have shot the guy in the face. Yep, inside job, long-time employee, the never-in-a-million-years type. Dude robs the bank. Then goes home and supposedly commits suicide. Oh. 
might it be another uh, shapeshifter? Because that's what got them into trouble with the law in the first place. FBI, Mr. Resnick. That would make a lot of sense, you know. You see the badge. Sudden extreme changes in personality, violent, and it would make sense that it would steal jewelry because it and and uh, uh, rob a bank because it needs money. And if you rob a bank as someone and then it turn into someone else, then no, no problem. And none of the cops ever called me back. Not after I told them what was really going on. Okay. Uh, they all thought I was crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh, aliens. See, me and Juan were friends. He used to come back to the bank on my night shifts and we'd play cards. <laughs> oh, it was aliens, huh? The thing I let into the bank wasn't Juan. A Juan doll? Look, <laughs> this wasn't the only... Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a, a, a shapeshifter. Chinese been working on him for years. And the Russians before that. Oh, no, dude. Part man, part machine. <laughs> More of a, 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 a mandroid. A mandroid. I like that. <laughs> Android, no, like a mandroid. <laughs> See, I made copies of all the security tapes. I knew once the cops got them, they'd be buried. Here. Yeah, of course, because the cops are in on it. See, look, th th there it is! You see, he's got the laser eyes. No. Yeah, that is the suit. That is the a shapeshifter. Cops said it was some kind of reflected light. Some no. Kind of camera flare. Nope. It's a shapeshifter. Unless it's something else that ex it's exactly like a shapeshifter. The law won't hunt this thing down. I'll do it myself. Dude, back off before you hurt yourself. Oh. Case is the job for a while till it knows the take is fat. And then it finds its opening. I know how we're gonna get in trouble. Because of this guy. That's why the hostages. I don't know. M maybe that's where it recharges its uh, mandroid batteries. Okay. Dude has done good research, though. It's just I'm about to tell you the God's honest very truth wrong. About all of this. What are you about to say, Sam? There's no such thing as mandroids. There's nothing evil or inhuman going on out there. It's just people. Nothing else, you understand? Yeah. The laser eye. It's just a camera flare, Mr. Resnick. See, I know you don't want to believe this, but your friend Juan robbed the bank, and that's it. Classified evidence of an ongoing investigation. <laughs> yeah, Sam was being a hard ass very, very much. At least only the guy Bone. He did some pretty good legwork here. <laughs> mandroid? Except for the mandroid. Yeah, he just doesn't have the turn. You get torn apart. Better to stay in the dark and stay alive. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think he's gonna do that. He seemed way too obsessed. Just like back at St. Louis. Yeah. Same retinal reaction to video. Eyes uh, flare at the camera. Yeah, silver or something. So where are they going There's next? One more bank lined up on that same sewer main. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Ronald's gonna figure it out and show up and take hostages and because Sam and Dean are investigating the same thing, they're also gonna be there and then... Problems. Yeah, I think you screwed up here, Sam. Alrighty. I think you should have gone with Dean's idea to throw the guy a bone. Okay. Well, you got any popcorn? <laughs> yeah. My word, stakeouts has got to be really, really boring. Wait a minute. And there it is. Sam. Better what? try to catch it before. Oh, yeah. Here comes trouble. I didn't know this was going to happen, Dean. Yeah, let me do the talk. <laughs> I don't think he likes you very much, Agent Johnson. No, he does not. You working for the mandroid? We're not working for the mandroid. You shut up! Yeah. I ain't talking to you. I don't like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Oh, Dean has a gun. No, he has a knife. Turn around and why don't you let these people go? No, I already told you. If nobody's gonna stop this thing, then I've got to do it myself. Hey, we yeah, saw this coming. 
We're running out of time, okay? We gotta find him before he changes into someone Mike else. I'm gonna listen to you. You're a damn liar. Oh, they're in... They're in a pickle. You're not crazy. There really is something inside this bank. Mm-hmm. You, you come with me. But everyone else gets in the vault! Holy moly, that is a thick door. Who is that man? <laughs> he is so brave. <laughs> yes, indeed he is. Oh no, it has changed into someone else. What the hell is that? The bank manager. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. What are you doing? We need to find silver. Silver is the only thing I've seen that hurts him. Come on, Ron. <laughs> yeah, who's the hostage here, actually? <laughs> of course, Dean would take over. Dude has a lot of experience in high pressure situations. <laughs> Oh my word, how are you gonna get out of this, guys? I mean, Dean is wanted as a suspect for for a murder, but like adding more charges and like more or adding charges, I mean, he's just a suspect or a person of interest in this uh, at this point, but I mean, it's not gonna get better. All right, cut the power. No, that's not going to be good. We need the cameras to find out. Yeah, don't mention it. Yeah, there goes the cameras. Now we can't find out who it is. Although, I mean, I guess if you put silver against skin, maybe? Or just scratch slightly? Scratch the skin slightly, see if Cops. it, like, overreacts. Well, you weren't exactly a smooth criminal about this, Ron. I'm well, I, d I didn't think hang to... On, hang on, hang on. No, because Sam backed Ronald into a corner. Has your brother always been so, um, wonderful? I mean, <laughs> staring down that gun. <laughs> you are really impressed, huh? He's like a real <laughs> hero or, or something. Yeah, or something. My word, woman. What are you doing? Uh, Sam, look, uh, Ronald, I need to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, sorry about this, you know? <laughs> Oh my word, this is such a mess. <laughs> God, this isn't going the way we wanted it. Understatement. <laughs> yes, extreme under understatement. Ron! Out of the light! Jesus, you're not very good at this, Ron. <laughs> yeah, beware snipers. I love this. I love episodes when they run afoul of the law. This is the third one, I think, when this has happened. Like, they're in trouble because even if they pretend to not be part of Ronald's crew, then, like, they're still going to get held and they're still going to discover about St. Louis and, like, they're not going get, to get away very easily. Like, keeping them in the vault is a terrible idea. I don't understand. Why are you helping him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. That's a piss-poor answer, dude. You could have said, like, trying to ensure that everyone gets out of this alive. Great. Could be our guy. Could be a trick. Are you just gonna let the man die? No one's dying in here. Cover the door. <laughs> oh. And because Ronald is so incompetent, the boys are gonna have to take over. Don't try anything else. Please. Paramedic? I don't have time for that, man. Listen, I, I, I'm sorry, okay? I, I... Yeah, is that the guy that Dean escorts out? That he escorted out in the beginning of the episode? Oh, is there a body up there? Because there can't be two of... Two of a person. Oh, is that the guy trying to get help for the security guard? Yes, it is. I got you. 
Yeah, I'll help you. Oh, I got him. It's cool. It's cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, the shifter knows. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Whatever. Mm, that is unfortunate. Don't shoot. Oh, you idiot. Snipers. Ronald was not ready for this level of action. People have died. And you still can't leave. Okay. So now they are the ones <laughs> who are taking hostages. Oh no. Take care of the guard. I'm going after the shifter. <laughs> You're in quite the pickle, boys. <laughs> Oh my word. Sorry, Ron. He did a real good job tracking this thing. He really did. Yeah. Dude's heart was in the right place. He was just extremely clumsy about it. Please don't hurt us. Please don't hurt us. You shouldn't be back here right now. You're in danger. Now go back to the vault. Now. <laughs> Please. No, 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 no. Back up. Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, Dean. Oh my word. Yeah, you're not liking the look of this, huh? It's a lot of heat. <laughs> oh, you're so screwed. Yes, indeed. Oh no, it's shifted again. Who is it now? Oh my word. Here the feds are. You see the black suburban is like, okay, feds are here. <laughs> Lieutenant Robards. Yeah. Special Agent Henriksen. Let me guess. Hey, dude. You can go get a donut and bang your wife for like here. What I do need is your SWAT team locked and loaded. That's some powerful escalation, dude. You have no idea what you're dealing with, do you? And you do? There's a monster in that bank, Robards. Oh. FBI, so it's it's the the guy who's been tracking Dean. Uh, because I think that's the how it works, right? Like FBI when it's across multiple state lines. Like it, when it's in multiple states. That's when the FBI gets involved. What's your name? Why would you care? My name's Dean. I'm Sherry. She has a name tag after all. Sherry is disappointed in you, Dean. Oh, it's kind of harsh for a federal agent, don't you think? Well, yeah. You're not a typical suspect, are you, Dean? Yeah, he is. Hey, oh, well, that part's true, but how'd you even know we were here? Go screw yourself. That's how I knew. <laughs> Jesus. Aggressive type. I know about your dad. You don't know crap about my dad. Ex Marine. Ooh, sensitive subject. Those backward cabins. Real paramilitary survivalist type. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> White supremacist, Timmy McVeigh, tomato, tomato. <laughs> he was a hero. Yeah, I can see how it would look to an outsider. <laughs> like, I applaud their efforts to hunt this shift shapeshifter down, but Jesus, guys, this is going above and beyond. <laughs> I'm just crazy. Crazy's in there, and I just hung up on it. So am I right in assuming that law enforcement or FBI is going to be a larger part of the puzzle now, larger part of the story? Because I don't see this Victor, uh, was it? Uh, I don't see him backing down. <laughs> he seems very committed to this uh, hunt. Oh, it's Sherry. Hey. Hey. We got a bit of a problem outside. We got a problem in here. Why me? Uh, as a show of good faith to the feds, come on. Nope. I think I'd, I'd rather stay here with the others. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to insist. Like, why do you care about appearances at this point? Just force her. I thought you were letting me go. Stop playing. Oh God! Oh. Why 
What? This is... Wait, what? Dude, wait, wait, wait. What's the advantage of this plan? Yeah, exactly. Like, what the heck is this all about? This makes zero sense. Is it playing dead? No. Yeah. Oh, I see a way out. They disguise themselves as SWAT guys. Right? It's either that or or the sewer. But like I don't think the sewer is like there's an access point to the sewer inside the friggin' bank. Our boys are such freaking ninjas. Don't shoot! I work here. I work here. Freeze! Who is this? Not Dean, apparently. So who was it? Was it Sam? I find that unlikely, because in that case we're in trouble. <laughs> no, it was Sam. It was Sam, but apparently it wasn't that big of a problem. I don't see why the shifter is going for direct confrontation. Since the feds are inside now. But then again, crazy monsters. Eww. Ooh, that's a low blow, dude. There you go. Job done. We got there in the end. Now it's just a matter of exfiltration, but Sam knocked out two SWAT guys. Yeah, that's Sam um, in SWAT gear. And we're supposed to think, oh no, SWAT has caught him, but it's Sam. African-American, Goner. Oh, this is not good. They're adding body counts. She just walked her out of the bank. She must have a twin sister or something. Yeah, who's missing a large chunk of skin on her arm. Like, <laughs> dude, I find that very unlikely. <laughs> Unless they just chalk it up to Dean being a psycho and just harvesting, harvesting her skin or something. Sir, my team my word. they're gone. He's gonna wind up on like the most wanted list. The ceilings, the furnace, everything. I don't think that's necessary. Why not? Because here's two of your SWAT guys knocked out. Lawman is putting into my running. I like this music. Oh, mama, I can. Ooh, it got better. My word, boys. What are we gonna do now? We are so screwed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is a massive problem because like, uh, Gordon and his um, connections and his resources is one thing, it's a problem. Not that major of a problem by comparison. And like monsters, like ghosts and stuff, they don't have any <laughs> network uh, like the closest thing I guess would be like the demons uh, who are working for yellow eye demon like Meg and the other guy I mean I'm sure there's more we saw the Dwayne guy for instance like I'm sure that there's like an organization of sorts there but not very large by when compared to yeah Law, the entire law enforcement apparatus of the United States. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a bit of a bigger problem. Like they, there's a lot more resources there and there's a lot more like surveillance cameras access to and like getting, getting like wanted posters out to um, small towns, like just cable it out to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> to just spread the ears everywhere. So this, I think, will be a massive problem, and I don't know how we resolve it, to be honest.
Like what I'm thinking is what's going to need to happen is that either Dean gets lucky with another, I don't know, uh, what's it called? Another shifter like this that they can pin it on. I don't know if that even that is going to be enough, to be honest, because this guy, Victor, seems really hell bent on catching Dean. Like the only solution that I see, really, and that's not a solution either. But this, the thing I was thinking of about was to like have a moment with uh, Victor Hendrickson, uh, the same as they did with uh, the character Linda Blair played in the episode with the Death Omen, where oh, what was that episode with the lawyer and stuff? Where last time they got in 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 contact with the law when they had troubles like to get him on their side so that he understands but even then like what's that's not going to close the case i don't see how they're going to get the fuss off their tail like how they're going to be left alone because they can't really do their job very well if they're always on the run from the from the feds from the fbi and cops my word dean we are we are in a proper pickle this time around. And I love it. I mean it's great. I love just the the shift going from being the hunters to being the hunted. I I love that shift in perspective. And I really really can't wait to get to the next episode. I don't know if it's going to pick up straight from where this left off. We will see, to be honest. But that is for a different day, not today. Uh, however, I thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, however, peace out.